I'm going to make uh, sweet potatoes. So I've boiled, peeled and boiled the sweet potatoes. So I'm going to mash up those, but I've got a pan here because I'm going to top the sweet potatoes with apple. So I put quarter cup of uh, butter in the pan. So I'm going to mix this up, let it melt. I've got my heat on about medium. To that, I'm going to add, I've sliced up mm, two apples, minus one slice. I don't want to do a marshmallow top. I like it, but I'm getting kind of tired of it, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to put apples on top. Caramelized apples. So it's a little bit sweet. To that, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of brown sugar. About a tablespoon of cinnamon. So I'll just let that cook. Probably take like five minutes. While the apples are caramelizing, well, I keep an eye on it. But I'm also going to mix up the sweet potatoes that I cooked. So that's going, so I will I mix that all up. So over here, I've got my casserole pan, and I've got my sweet potatoes cooked. So I'm going to add about a quarter cup of butter. I'm going to also use a bit of butter and I'm going to use this casserole pan for my sweet potatoes. So I'm going to generously butter the pan. A little bit more in there, a little bit more in the apples. mix, mash up the sweet potato, just going to taste how it so I'm going to add about an mm, eighth of a cup of brown sugar. About a teaspoon of cinnamon. Just going to mix that up again. But also, here I'm going to give my apples a stir. They're coming along nicely here in the pan. So I'm going to try my sweet potatoes again. I'm going to put in another eighth of a cup of brown sugar. So quarter of a cup. But I don't want to add it all at once because then if it's 
too sweet, you can't take it out, but you can always add. That tastes nice with a little um, hint of cinnamon. So now it's going to go into my buttered casserole pan. Just a couple minutes for the apples. So the apples are pretty much caramelized. So I'm going to add them to the sweet potato. Spread it around. And this is going to go in a 325 oven for about a half an hour because I've got the oven on 325, I'm doing pork and I had some uh, bread, French bread and whatnot that was getting hard. So instead of making bread pudding, I cooked up a couple of potatoes, I chopped up an onion, I dunked the bread in hot water, then rang it out, melted some butter, put some sage and um, salt. And I made a stuffing, so tonight we're going to have pork and accompany that with uh, sweet potato casserole and stuffing. 